In the world of anime, there are many non-human species that are perfectly sentient and therefore can enjoy relationships with other species. Interspecies relationship can be deeply romantic because they show that love knows no boundaries. But they can also present some serious problems, including communication problems, different expectations for relationships, or external discrimination. Not only that, specific love stories between a human and a demon have always been something forbidden since generally, the background of the story is a great hatred between the two, especially to the point that they kill each other, but who wouldn't want to see something forbidden? This is why I bring you the 7 best animes where a human and a demon have a forbidden relationship. Kakuriyo no Yadomeshi The story revolves around Tsubaki Aoi when she is kidnapped in the world of Ayakashi and must pay all the debts of her deceased grandfather. The amount of the debt is very large and it is written in the agreement that if it is not paid, then Aoi will marry Odana-sama, who is the owner of the Tenjinya Inn in the Ayakashi world. Not wanting her fate to end in the world of Ayakashi, Aoi decides to pay off her grandfather's debt with her own hard work. Aoi opens a small restaurant behind Tenjin Ya Inn. The human girl's fight was not easy as she expected. She had to face several Ayakashi in her efforts. Armed with the kindness and cooking skills taught to her by her grandfather, Aoi manages to overcome various obstacles with her Ayakashi friends. The brave character Aoi makes the story of this anime even more interesting. Otome Yokai Sakura. <laughs> In an alternate story, in Japan, where humans and spirits coexist, the ancient spirits are not happy with the move to westernized Japanese society. In order to bring peace, the Japanese army recruits a group of half-spirits and forms the Ministry of Spiritual Affairs, in which each half-spirit is attached to a military officer. Sakuro, a half-spirit of enormous power and hatred of westernization, teams up with Agemaki, the son of an aristocrat who is afraid of spirits. The truth is that this enemy is quite interesting, the art is charming, and the story is fascinating, but it is too short even, so I think you will love it. Itsuka Tenma no Kuro the story revolves around an average high school boy named Taito who has a recurring dream about himself as a little boy forming a pact with a cute girly childlike vampire. When he is woken up in the classroom by his romantic love interest Haruka, who of course has a secret crush on him, they run into the student council president Gekko and his lackey Mirai. Returning home, Taito pushes Mirai out of the path of a speeding truck, ending up getting decapitated in the process. To his surprise, Taito is still alive and runs off, reattaching his head. In the process, he begins to recall the details of his dream, including a long-forgotten promise to the young woman, whom he can summon by finally remembering his name, Saito Himea. Engage Kiss <laughs> The plot begins with the floating city of Byron, which is a modern city and home to the highly coveted resource Argonium. But there's a problem. It is under periodic attack by demons. To keep its citizens safe and unaware, the government employs a group of contractors to take down the monsters as they appear and then cover up the incidents. One of those contractors is Shu, a young man on a quest to avenge his family that was taken from him by demons. While the other contractors employed use conventional weapons to fight the demon threat, Shu has a secret weapon. He made a pact with a demon named Kizara to use his strength to achieve his goals. With Kizara by his side, few things can stand in Shu's way. However, his ex-girlfriend and fellow demon fighter Ayano is definitely one of them. Yushibo
Yushibu revolves around our main protagonist, Roll Chaser, an employee of a magic shop named Leon. Before working there, it is revealed that he was a hero who fought demons and his dream was to become one of the greatest. However, when the demon lord was defeated, all these heroes were no longer needed and were left aside. Raul being one of them. With his dream crushed, he began working in Leon for a living. The daily life of him was monotonous and boring since then, while there are not many customers. One day, someone shows up at the store and wants to apply for a job at the store. Raul and the others discover that the new recruit is Fino Bloodstone, the daughter of the previous demon lord. Having grown up all her life in her father's kingdom, she doesn't have much common sense. She talks about violent things while selling items, but she is very carefree and positive. Hiro no Kakera The main plot involves the heroine Tomaki, who discovers that she is destined to be the next Tamayori princess, who must maintain a terrible evil seal. Unfortunately, she has no idea how to do it, and she has no idea how to use her supposed power. Tamaki has a nice character arc throughout the two seasons, going from a clueless schoolgirl to the powerful princess Tamayori. She enlists the helps of her guardians, the most important of which is Takuma with whom Tamaki falls in love, but her relationship develops slowly, though not as slowly as many anime. Fairmail in Gold <laughs> The story revolves around our protagonist having a big problem, and if he can't form a contract with a familiar before a class the next day, he'll fall behind a year in magic school. He's already tried almost everything, but as he ponders his situation in the library, a book of summoning magic falls from the shelf and hits him full on the head. Fortunately for him, part of it is still readable, so he draws the magic circle and chants the words written in the book. However, what springs from the magic ring is not an ordinary spirit. Instead, Alto appears to have summoned himself a very powerful and beefy demon. The demon's name is Vermeil, and she informs Alto that the reason no other creature would allow herself to be summoned to her side is because his mana is simply too potent for them to tolerate. Fortunately, demons are so powerful that they are the only exception, and Vermeil knows many, creative ways to extract the mana that he desires as payment for his services. Despite some headaches in the class the next day, Vermeil finds himself acceptable as a familiar. <laughs> 